What's up, my dudes? This is Lord of Christ. Don't kill me. So, I'm going to be talking about MX Simulator versus MX vs. ATV Reflex. So, it's two completely different worlds, and I totally understand that, but I just want to talk about, you know, some of the positives of this side and some of the negatives of that side and that kind of thing. And before you just absolutely slay in the comments, I understand that there's both sides to it. You know, you got your guys over here that are Reflex fanboys that are going to say, Oh, MX Simulator, what the heck? Did you see the graphics on that game, bro? Did you see what that game actually looked like, dude? And then you got your MX Simulator fanboys that are like, Well, MX Simulator obviously has superior physics to MX versus ATV Reflex, and you just don't understand, man. So, <laughs> I know both sides of it. Trust me, I completely understand, okay? And I'm also going to be showing gameplay from both games and same tracks. So it'll be kind of a cool little comparison video as well. But um, yeah, it's I think it really just depends on what kind of game you like. Do you like a simulator or do you like an arcade game? You know, they're, they're two totally different games. So when you try to compare them, you've got to be careful. And one thing, this is going to make me sound kind of biased and MX Simulator fanboy-ish, but um, don't take it the wrong way. I just, I really think this is something that happens where people will get into MX Simulator, but they'll only step one toe in it. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's very similar to like talking about a pool, okay? Picture you got a pool sitting there, all right, and you just stick one toe in it. How fun is that? That's not very fun to me. Um, like when you dive in that motherfucker and start swimming around, that's when it gets fun. And I think that's very similar to how MX Simulator is. It's, it's something you have to really get into because it's not even meant to be that fun at the very beginning. So, um, and I just feel like most people that get into MX Simulator, they, they may just barely get into it and then they don't, they don't get very comfortable on the bike so it feels very stale and stiff on the bike and they never get a setup that really fits on properly and um, then they start giving their opinions and think that ah, MX Simulator is not that good of a game but when you get to it to a point where you really have played the game and you really feel good on the bike i'm telling you it's impossible for another motocross game to have better physics it is impossible you cannot get it better you can't do it i'm telling you right now as far as the physics there will how can you beat something that is perfect mx simulator has perfectamundo physics bro <laughs> you can't beat it and I think, personally, physics is the most important part to a motocross game. Um, that's my own opinion. Some people have different opinions, and it goes back to what I'm saying. It's all in how serious you are and what kind of motocross game you're actually looking for. And that makes a big difference. You know, if you're just wanting to chill, mess around, play around, not really get too serious with anything, then I could see how Reflex and some of those other games would be a lot of fun to you. But, like, Reflex is definitely superior in the, the art of terrain deformation, in the art of, obviously, graphical. It's going to look a little bit better. Now, I will say, MX Simulator, don't just, you know, get the demo and think, hey, this is the shitty-ass graphics of this game. Actually, get in there and start downloading some bike skins and i'm telling you a lot of what actually makes a track look good in mx simulator is the track maker i mean you can have tracks that look like complete ass and you can have tracks that look amazing um i mean like you can have particle effects lighting effects um i just recently rode on uh, a track i was having a beta test for a guy and oh my god dude it makes mx simulator look like completely different you know it, it it, it's like another level of graphical look to the game whereas if you've never seen that track you may never think MX Simulator could look like that so it, it's pretty crazy how um, how different the custom tracks can actually be with MX Simulator just depending on track maker to track maker so I mean that's actually a pretty big part to it you know like if you never see those really cool built tracks on MX Simulator you just may not know 
Um, and, I mean, Reflex is a fun game. Don't get me wrong. And before I found MX Simulator, it was my game. But it's just, when you find a simulator, it seems like everything changes, at least for me. Whereas, like, let me just give you a little example here, okay? Um, ever since I found MX Simulator, it has dulled my excitement for every other motocross game. Um, it's very different from how, like, uh, back in the day when I didn't even know what MX Simulator was, um, and I was only playing Reflex, it was like, alright, you know, Reflex is what I'm doing here, um, but I may find another cool game, you know, they may come out with another arcade game, and it's people that have only been playing arcade games, they're thirsty as hell right now, because there hasn't been any good ones in a while, I mean, actual good ones, I, the Reflex is the last good one I can remember, so um, when it's like that, you know, you're kind of looking for the next motocross game, arcade game, so you kind of have a whole different kind of outlook on it there, whereas like, once you find MX Simulator and really get into it, these arcade motocross games just become your side bitch, you know? It's not even your main thing. So, I just, it, it's a total different kind of feeling that you that you get. And so, therefore, it, it separates somebody that really has gotten into MX Simulator and somebody that either hasn't played it at all or they've just stepped one toe in it, like I was talking about. So, it makes you have drastically different opinions about it. Um, and... And people will say, oh, you know, Reflex is this and that and whatever. And when people say Reflex has better uh, physics than MX Simulator, I just laugh. <laughs> I just laugh at that. It's just like, dog, you just, you don't understand. You haven't, you haven't played it enough. It's just that simple. You have not played MX Simulator enough if that's your opinion on it. You can say it's got better graphics in a sense. You can say it's got better terrain deformation, for sure. You can say it's got better collision in a certain way. But when you talk physics, uh-uh. <laughs> you cannot say that. Um, and I understand they're two totally different games, so that's why it's so hard to compare it, you know. Uh, Reflex is so easy to get into. It's so much more approachable. Whereas MX Simulator, it's just so, so hard from the get-go. And that's what makes it appealing, but a lot of people don't get that part of it you know they think it's just going to be that stale stiff feeling bike forever and it's always going to be that hard but it's not like that once you really put the time in and i've put at least at least okay i'm i'm think i'm lowballing this as well i probably put double this amount of time in these games but i've at least put ten thousand hours into both of these motocross games reflex and mx simulator ten thousand hours okay like um, I hate to be that guy right now, but I know what I'm talking about when I'm telling you this stuff, man. It's uh, just, you know, if you're just getting into MX Simulator, don't give up on it. It's meant to be like real life. You know, you got to go back to the first time you rode a real dirt bike. Did you just all of a sudden hop on a pro racetrack and start jumping some crazy shit and doing all these whips and stuff? No, it took you a long time. And that's, that's that's the whole point to MX Simulator. It's a simulator. And I think a lot of people come into it with that arcadey mindset and then they, you know, they hate the game at that point. And uh, it's a little bit frustrating to me when people do that, but um, don't get me wrong. Reflex is the king of the arcade motocross games. It's the king of it. But MX Simulator is twice the actual game. Um, and I know it's going to kill some people when I say that, but but it, it, it's hard to compare because they're two totally different games, you know what I mean? But when you talk about like what you're getting out of it and skill gap and racing and all of that, it's just MX Simulator is another, it's a whole nother level. Um, and it, I just feel like some people have not realized that. But yeah, man, it's uh, Reflex is a fun game, don't get me wrong. A uh, very, very well-made motocross game. Just ask yourself, what makes Reflex such a good game in comparison to like Alive and Supercross and those different games? Because of the physics of Reflex. It feels a lot more real on the bike. And that's the same difference and improvement that MX Simulator has over Reflex. You see what I'm saying? It's the exact same thing, but if you don't get into MX Simulator far enough, you wouldn't understand that. But like, 
Okay, let me give you a good little example here. You know how kind of janky and weird um, Alive and MX vs. ATV Supercross felt in comparison to Reflex? They just felt like weird on the bike, and, and it was kind of like, felt like you were floating in the air forever. At least to me, that's what those games felt like, and that kind of killed those games for me. But um, Reflex was very superior in just overall bike feel and speed feel on the bike and, and actually in the air physics and stuff like that and whip physics and all that. Um, think about how different those games are to how Reflex is and how much better Reflex is. Well, times that by 10, and that's how much better MX Simulator is physics wise in comparison to reflex i'm telling you it's it's just a whole different animal man there's no other way to explain it and i don't mean to like bash on reflex but people just don't get it they they don't get it and it, it all goes back to if you don't want to put the time in i mean mx simulator is probably not going to be that fun um, because it's going to be like riding a real life dirt bike so if you don't put that much time in it's basically like you're a weekend warrior in real life, and you can only ride on little baby tracks and stuff. I mean, that's really how it is. So um, it's it takes some dedication to get to the point where Reflex, you can actually, or MX Simulator, I meant, where you can actually, you know, ride on, on like Reflex caliber tracks on MX Simulator, if that makes any sense. You know, it takes a lot longer to get to that skill level on MX Simulator. Um, but, and I feel like the... The whole like setting up the bike and all that kind of shies some people away from MX Simulator and all that kind of stuff. But uh, in the custom track thing with MX Simulator, it's actually pretty easy. I've made upwards of like 50 custom tracks, done everything from space tracks to Hawaii tracks. I'm not no one hit wonder. They know all my stuff. So I got a ton of tracks out there. It's uh it's definitely something I've invested a lot of time into with MX Simulator and um it's a lot more easy to actually get into the track building with MX Simulator and make custom tracks, so therefore you get a lot more custom tracks, it seems like, um, be it there's a lot more crappy and basic ones for MX Simulator, whereas Reflex, it's like they almost have to have a certain level of polish just by the way the tracks are built, um, but that's always something to think about, you know, if you're getting into making custom tracks and you want to try to uh, start getting into that it's going to be way easier of a process doing it on mx simulator it's all quite basic in comparison to how uh, reflex custom track building is but um yeah i would say these are both of sort of the the pinnacles of the motocross gaming world out there reflex is the pinnacle of the arcade games and mx simulator is just the pinnacle period but uh <laughs> no, it it's just man it's it's hard to say and i, I see comments every day saying Oh, dude, what? How could you like MX Simulator better than Reflex and and all this other stuff? It's like, man, you just, you don't get it. You don't, you have not either A, you don't like simulators or you just haven't got into MX Simulator far enough. That's the only explanation because if you like simulator games and you like a realistic uh, physics kind of feel to a game um, and you've gotten far enough in MX Simulator, I promise you reflex at that point it'll totally change you'll no longer look at arcade motocross games the same um and it's it's actually quite dangerous because uh just be careful when you do that because when you really get into mx simulator i'm telling you it, it totally doles off your excitement for an arcade motocross game it just becomes like a side little have fun kind of thing and um that's just that's what it does because they're they're totally different types of games at that point like for me I've gotten to the point in MX Simulator and gotten to the the good enough bike feel with MX Simulator that it feels like how Reflex used to feel to me as far as like how much I could move on the bike and all this other stuff um, and like everything else and um, I could definitely see where if you first got into MX Simulator you you would just totally misinterpret the way the the physics are in the game you know if you don't get far enough in it so yeah man that's kind of my opinion on both of these games love them to death um like i said at least ten thousand hours into both of these games a piece so um <laughs> i definitely put the time in there ain't no doubt about that but uh at this point you know it's just reflex is a cool fun game to go hang out on but um anybody that tries to say reflex is a better overall game than mx simulator 
I'm just, I'm sorry to break it to you, man, but you just don't, you don't get it. You don't understand it. Um, and I, I know I'm going to get a lot of flacco for that in the comments, put them in the dirt, but, uh, it's, that's the honest truth, dude. Um, when you get far enough in it, there's just no comparison. There's no comparison, and I'll even go as far as say there will never be a comparison to MX Simulator. Um, Physics-wise, how can you beat something that's perfect? I, I don't get it. Um, yes, MX Simulator can use some work in the terrain deformation. It can use some work in um, some graphical stuff here and there. Um, it could use some work in the collision side of things, front-end block. Um just slight stuff like that certain stuff like maybe you know tear off systems or i've kind of been through all that kind of stuff but uh you know uh, mx simulator definitely has its faults but it gets the hard things to get right perfect whereas reflex it does some of the other little things a little bit better but when it comes to physics, it's it's two totally different universes when you talk about Reflex and MX Simulator. It's just uncomparable. They're so different that they're uncomparable. So, like, me sitting here, you just can't even compare the two games. You can't do it. So, um, whichever kind of games you enjoy, hey, man, enjoy it. I'm not bashing on you. If you love Reflex and you don't like MX Simulator, that's totally cool to me. I, I have no problem with that. But um, be careful when you say... Uh, Reflex is totally an overall better game than MX Simulator. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Because you just may not have really experienced the full experience of MX Simulator. Um, so just be careful, you know. Um, and you got to always take into account, you may just not be that simulator kind of guy. You just may be more of an arcade motocross game kind of guy. And that's totally understandable and cool and... And, you know, I respect you for having that opinion. You know, if you come out saying, hey, I'm just a, an arcade dude. I don't really like um, simulators that much. And that's why I like uh, Reflex over MX Simulator. I'll give you 10,000 points of respect right now. But if you come out saying, ah, uh, MX Simulator, what are those graphics, dude? Oh, no, the physics are way better on Reflex. If you say some shit like that, uh... It's, it's just i'm gonna look the other way because you don't get it dog so uh anyways that's about it for this video appreciate you guys watching later dudes